All right guys, so we're gonna actually create a Zap inside of Zapier and we're gonna make it, that way we can have AI do lead research on all of our leads that book via Google Calendar and do this for HubSpot. Essentially what we're gonna do is look at this workflow here. It's very, very simple, um, but it's gonna be really effective. So we're gonna have a new Google Calendar meeting booked. That is a trigger. And then once that happens, AI is gonna do a web scrape based on the leads provided name and email address. And then from there, ChatGPT is going to summarize that and what it found and then add it as a note in inside of the contact in HubSpot. So we're gonna be able to have AI do all the research for every single new lead inside of our HubSpot CRM and give us a summary so we don't have to do that before we hop on our sales calls. So first of all, let's go ahead and go to Zapier, create new Zap. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add the trigger as Google Calendar and it's gonna be, the trigger event is gonna be when a new event is added. So go ahead, connect your Google Calendar account, choose the calendar you want to use. Go ahead and test this and okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and move forward with this one. From here, what we want to do is we want to add a formatter by Zapier action. So go ahead, click that there, and then let's move on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use this formatter by Zapier step, and we're going to come in, we're going to click text. We need to extract the name of the person that booked a call. So we come here, we want to go to split text input. We're going to add this as summary. So that way you could see it has the name of the people in the meeting. Here we are separator going to click and and then segment index it's going to be the first name so we want that first name extracted so go ahead this is the input here it has the user's name and my name if we go ahead and test it it will then there we go so the output is now just that first name that we want to use perfect now let's move on to the next formatter by zapier step we're going to go back and click text again continue we want to then add another split text input this one is going to be the attendees email separator is going to be the comma segment index we actually want to come and click second so that way we could extract that second email, continue, and then let's test this and we should pop out here. Great, so now that, now that that's working, what we wanna do is we actually want to come down and go to ChatGPT. And then from here, we want to sign into our ChatGPT account, go to conversation as action event, click continue. The user message, what we wanna add for the user message is we actually wanna go ahead and use this output email. So that way you could do a research on this email address here. From there, we want to then come to the assistant instructions and just basically, basically add our prompt to say, go ahead and do a research on this person and give me a brief summary. Use the attendees email address and name to perform a web search on them, give them a summary who they are like this. So I gave a basic example of how I want this, a two sentence kind of response and summary of who the person is. So let's go ahead and test this step. Here we go. So now you can see this summary on this person who actually booked via our Google Calendar. So now that we have this information, we want to add this reply as a note inside of our HubSpot. So let's go ahead and do that now. Final action here, what we need to do is we need to then come and add our HubSpot action here. So go ahead, connect your HubSpot account. The action event is gonna be create a contact. So we're gonna create a new contact via that Google Calendar you know, booking that was made. So what we need to do is we need to map a few fields here. So let's go ahead and and put company name. Let's add this first text here from the formatter, add that name there. Um, come down to contact information, email, add that email there. So this then will then be tracked in our HubSpot. And then go to any of these fields that you want the summary to be on. For this, let's just do street address because it's right at the top. But what we'll do is we'll come to conversation, go to reply because that is a summary and then go ahead, add that, and then let's go ahead and test this now. Now let's go ahead and let's test this and see if this information is then tracked and added to our HubSpot. There we go, so now it says a contact was sent to HubSpot about one second ago. Let's check our CRM. Here we are, so we have the email, we have the summary, like we said here, because um, we mapped this to the street address. So let's go ahead and check this. So if you look here, here is the breakdown of this lead. So it gives this summary from ChatGPT right here. That is amazing. And then it also has the company name. So that is how we actually use ChatGPT and HubSpot and Zapier and basically connect this to our Google Calendar. And whenever a meeting is booked, this thing will actually go ahead and do research on all of these leads and then add them to our CRM. This is gonna be extremely valuable. I hope this video was valuable to you. Make sure to subscribe to Zapier for more zaps and automations like this that will help you in your business.